Okay, back at the farm, I wanna show you something. Out in this field, we're actually gonna plant 46 acres this year. And uh, we're gonna plant about 24,000 oak trees. And uh, that's part of where we're gonna plant them. But we have a problem. We have a creek here that keeps washing out the uh, culvert crossing really bad. And we repaired this a couple of times and I'm trying to put a, a fix in it now so that we can get a tractor across because we have to plant. This is the bridge I did in an earlier video. And here's the problem. This is the downstream side. And you can see how bad water has washed out the underside of the bridge. I mean, there's, there's gaps here where you actually can see down through the bridge four feet. And this bridge was not intended to be a, you know, 100% permanent solution. It was, um, we had to get a hay tractor across here a couple of years ago. So we had to have a quick solution to get the hay tractor across. And at the time, I could not get anybody to come in and fix this culvert. Everybody was too busy. So we built that platform bridge, which has worked great for about, uh, let's see, a little over two years. But the problem we have is that this creek fills up with water and water actually gets two feet above the roadway right here twice a year, every spring and every winter. So um, this year, once again, we're faced with a problem that uh, this culvert washes out really bad from the force of all the water coming down this creek. So I've called everybody in the county this year trying to get somebody to come and either replace the culvert or fix it or bring me a load of uh, riprap rock that we could put in here. The problem is with the COVID virus, um, a lot of people are not working. Um, and this is right now we're in the middle of hunting season. About half of the other people who, can, who are capable of bringing us materials are hunting. And then the people who are still working are so busy that uh, they just don't have time to deal with this small a job. You know, they're, they're dealing with the big construction jobs and they don't have time to come out and deal with this. And so anyhow, here's our solution. Um, uh, since we can't get materials, we can't get anybody to come work on the culvert, what we're gonna do is actually take 80 pound bags of concrete and we're gonna build a wall it goes almost up to the, uh, the, the roadway up there, the path. It's not really a roadway, it's more of a path. So right now we have about, uh, I think 90 bags of concrete. These are 80 pound bags of uh, high strength concrete. So we have another load of bags we have on the trailer that we're gonna put in this. And um, we're just trying to build this up as much as we can. And then we're gonna take the backhoe and behind this, we're gonna backfill with dirt in the back so uh i couldn't even get anybody to bring gravel even the people who can uh who can bring gravel from the gravel pits are either not available or um you know they're working on the bigger job so we couldn't even get gravel this year so we're going to take the backhoe we're going to go around to some of the edges of the creek and we're going to dig dirt and clay up and we're going to come and backfill this wall um but for now this is the best solution we've come up with is to actually build a wall of concrete bags. And I know somebody's gonna say, well, you're polluting the environment because the, the paper's gonna wear off the bags and float downstream. And some of that will happen, but I'm gonna clean it up. I'm a big environmentalist. I don't like uh, trash on the property. I don't let anybody leave trash on the property. And um, I'm actually gonna come back at some point and probably pressure wash the paper off these bags of concrete and um we're going to clean it up so just take my word for it we're gonna we're not going to let this uh float all around the countryside we're going to clean it up anyhow this is uh the best solution we've talked with a lot of people about how to fix this problem and this is the best solution we've come up with so we're going to come over here we have to get a big tractor across this bridge because in this huge field out here which is uh I think about 35 acres, 36 acres, we're going to plant oak trees also. So we're going to put uh, 24,000 oak trees out. You see my pine trees? Man, it's cold out here. I planted these pine trees. These are loblolly pine. I planted them uh, about two years ago, and they are beautiful. They're coming up great. Unlike oak, loblolly grows year-round. And uh, I'm planting these for not not just for uh, not just to have the wood. 
I'm planting them for deer habitat, for erosion control, and check this out. You see this? That's where deer comes and they rub their antlers on the tree. It's called a deer scrape. Some people call it a deer rub. Here's another one right here. And believe it or not, that will not kill the tree. Now it will if they, if they do it too much, but this tree will be perfectly fine. By the middle of summer, this tree will actually increase its uh, width by probably a half inch. It'll be just fine. So anyhow, these are two year old pine trees. So that's what we're doing. So that's the project today. We're gonna try and work on that wall, build it up and um, just backfill it with a backhoe. So I got my, I have my good friend and veterinarian out here helping me. And uh, so I'm in good hands. So let's get to work. I don't recommend this as a workout, but it's 32 degrees outside and we're sweating. So that's strenuous exercise.
headed back to the hardware store for the fifth, I think this is fifth trip for more concrete. See the trailer back there? I'm gonna load it up. Here's where we are. Just got back with 50 more bags of concrete, 80 pounds each, so that's 4,000 pounds more concrete. And we're estimating that we need probably 200 more bags because this is 28 bags wide. Probably need to go one more bag wider over here. And we need to go up to within about a foot of that bridge. So um, this has been a massive project. Um, anyhow, that's where we're at. So let's get back to work. Never see this in Mississippi. Hardly ever. Maybe once every three or four years. I don't know how people up north deal with this all the time. I'd go crazy. Okay. Back at the bridge, we got about three, four inches of snow last night. It's melting pretty good. The temperature's about 34, but gee whiz, it's, it's yucky, wet. And uh, there's the wall. So I got a lot of work left to do. I got to stack up those bags about another three and a half feet, get the back code, dump a bunch of dirt in here, build up that side i still got to come over to this side and figure out something to do the uh, creek has worn out the dirt underneath the bridge so we got to work on that too and got to have all that finished in uh let's see uh three days so let's get to work let's get the backhoe going come on backhoe show me some love uh. 
Wow, I can't believe all this snow. All right, come on. Crank it up, baby. Crank it up. Wow. The backhoe cranked up first try. That's a Christmas miracle. All right. You know, the snow was fun for about an hour. Then it started melting. And uh, then the truck got stuck. See all the sludge? And every time I rolled the backhoe across here to dump dirt in my creek project, it just made the situation worse. And uh, let me show you why you don't leave your concrete bags in a trailer overnight. It's because they get wet, covered with snow, and they just come apart. You can't carry them, you can't slide them, you see that? You try and move them at all and they come apart. So boys and girls, don't do that. Hey, who remembers that old Patsy Cline song, I Fall to Pieces? That pretty much describes my concrete mess. I've got 50 bags and I bet half of them have come apart while I was trying to slide them down the slope and put them in position. This is a great big concrete mess. So there's where we are after roughly 150 bags. It's looking good. The, the concrete on the bottom, probably the, uh, all but the top two layers are pretty much solid, but we're gonna have to, I'm backfilling now and I'm gonna put some more loose concrete in these pieces down here to sort of anchor them in place really good and, and some over there. But uh, it's coming along pretty good. It's just taking a lot longer than I thought it would take. Mostly because of the weather. But uh, anyhow, there you go. This is not the ideal way to build a wall over a culvert. But like I said earlier, we can't get anybody to bring supplies to us. So um, in about five days, I have a guy that's going to bring a tractor in here and plant 24,000 trees. He's got to get his tractor across here. So doing the best I can. So I'll update you later.